Good morning. You can see behind me our latest purchase. This is a $550 unit. It is a 10 by 20. Pretty full. Um, very tall unit. $550. Um, I did rent this one for a month which was another $183. I had to buy their lock, which was an extra 20 because they would not allow you to use your own. Um, so after taxes, administration fees, everything, it was 234 for me to rent, 550 for the unit. That puts me right around $800 for this one. So we'll see. Um, what I saw when I bought was wrapped furniture, uh, as cedar there on the front. Wrapped furniture, wrapped furniture, which is always a good sign. Um, I also saw a couple of AC units. It looks like there are three or four window units. If they're in working condition, that will put a it will go a long ways to getting me uh, getting my money back on this one. I also see a drum um, so hopefully there's a drum set in there hopefully it's a nice one but everything's online now so all you can see is pictures um, you can't actually come out and look anymore which I don't like for a number of reasons you can't see the surrounding area which this one is very close to my house so I knew the surrounding area um, I actually know this facility I've bought here before and I used to store here many many years ago so the surrounding area that wasn't really a big deal with this one but um, a lot of times if it's not an area you're familiar with, that's very important to be able to see the surrounding area. Also, you can't, when you're bidding based on photos online, um, you can't smell it. You know, if they open, if, if you open a unit and, sorry, I'm trying to look and talk. If you open a unit and it has a musty, moldy odor, um, a lot of times it will smell like, you know, rat urine or something like that, you know. And when you're buying them online, you don't. You don't know until you get out here. So you have to try your best to determine from photos that they take if the unit's gonna be worth it. Um, another thing I don't like about online is that when you go to an auction on a busy day, um, you know, good weather, lots of people on a busy day, uh, there might be 50 people there, maybe 100 I've seen a few times that you're bidding against. Um, whereas online, I mean, you may be bidding against, hang on, there's an 18-wheeler going behind me. Online, you might be bidding against 10,000 people. So the prices tend to go a lot higher. This one in person, I probably could have gotten in the $300 range since it was online. Um, had to pay $550 for it. So we'll see. I mean, I have high hopes for this one. There, there's some furniture pieces, and like I said, they're wrapped, so they should be in fairly good shape, even though this is a non-climate controlled storage. But we'll see. Um, I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back. I'm gonna do a little bit of digging. I have to get over to the store this morning. So I'm only going to stay here about 45 minutes or so, but I'm going to do a little bit of looking and um, I'll bring you back and see what we see on our first glance. Okay. <clears throat> Found this container of coins. This was right up front. You probably saw it in the first part. Um, There's a bunch of old nickels, dimes, quarters. There's a half dollar. Um, these are all silver or 40% silver. There's a bunch of wheat pennies, which... I mean, there there could be some in there that are worth a little bit, but anyways, that's a nice little find. And then there is a light dial, which turns on a big shop light up top. And there is a drum set in here. I count one, two, um, three, if you can see through that shelf four at least four drums 
So we'll start there. That's not bad. Um, that's a that's a great start because there's a ton of stuff in this unit. Um, so good start. I'm gonna pull a couple of boxes out and then I'm gonna get out of here. All right. So my goal here was to see what was in these two big tubs. There is a set of Pyrex uh, clear bowls and an old um, Corningware green bowl as well as a Shakespeare spinning tiger pole and reel. A really nice level, made in USA, sans level. Tell the truth. Anyways, before I go, I wanted to look in these two large tubs here and see. So I'll let you look with me. Number one. All right, that is a tub of tents. One, two, three, looks like three tents and maybe a few camping chairs. And let me pull that off. All right, tents and camping chairs in the first ones. In the first one, let's see what's in number two. And that is clothing. It's okay, not what you wanna see, but it's all right. It looks like a nice dresser though. I believe that is two pieces that could be a chest of some sort on top but they match um, they may actually go with this three panel mirror here so so far so good this also looks like a dresser can't see the front yet but this is going to be a cedar chest wrapped here there's a large aluminum ladder extension ladder so, money-wise, I don't know, man. I, until I get this stuff out and look, I mean, off the top of my head, if I had to guess, I would say 75 to 100 for the cedar chest. Um, I would, if those two, and they do match, so whether or not they stack or not, they go together. So for those two, the uh, the stacked pieces there, the dresser and possible chest, um, I would say probably in the 250 range. I don't know about the other dresser until I see the front. Um, may I mean, we may turn around and it has no drawers. Who knows? Um, so on first look, we'll say 100, 250. That's 350. And then say 40 bucks for that stack of bowls. Mm, 20 for the level. That's 60. That's 410. We'll say another 50 bucks in coins. That's 460. So we'll say 460 right now. Not bad. Here's a just a tub I grabbed off the top. Looks like it has kitchen kitchen stuff in it. <clears throat> so that's a good start. We haven't even gotten. I mean, I can't even step in the unit yet. So I will um, we'll upload this as part one. We'll get back in here hopefully either this evening or tomorrow and start really making a dent. I didn't want to pull too much out. I have a lot of time to be here this morning. So just wanted to give you a preview, give myself a preview, um, because this is the most exciting part for me is coming in and, and digging through. And I mean, it's the best. It's like, a, it, it's a treasure hunt. I tell people that all the time. It's a treasure hunt, but keep in mind also that half of this is going to be trash. And I have to find something to do with the trash. I would say as far as buying storage units, that is one of the most difficult tasks is getting rid of all the garbage. So um, that's it. I'll be back.